I'm going to show you how to create business partners number ranges and groupings in SAP S4 My name is Undiesh and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance. And the aim is to share SAP knowledge. We are doing a full life cycle implementation in this channel based in finance and controlling. Please subscribe this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. This activity is quite similar to customers and vendor number ranges, but it is necessary to do it because in s 4 we use business partners. Uh, business partners is not a new functionality of s 4 We used to have business partners for the model of dispute management and collection management. And now, without any further ado, let's start with the video. Now we are in the SAP IMG menu. So let's start. We, as usual, we go for the cross application components and then we drop down for the SAP business partners and then we drop down for the business partners, basic, set, basic settings, number ranges and groupings, which is our video about. If you are enjoying this video as me, please make a like because I'm enjoying a lot doing this video for you. So number ranges, as I said, quite similar to the customers and vendors. So basically we have the number ranges. This should not be new for you uh, at, the, at this point in time. If you are following the channel and all the videos of the channel, this is not new for you, this screen. But we have this one, you know that if you want to create, you need to click there and then you need to make to need, you need to add entries. I'm not going to explain this again because we have this in, in other videos. So now what are we going to have? I'm going to take a note, zero, two. I'm going to take a note for this one. I will be using for vendors. Okay, and then uh, EE, okay. I will be using for uh, customers. So as you can see, zero, two, this is, an internal number range. So we have already these vendors created in SAP, or these vendors or vendors business partner in SAP s and for e is also uh, external. So now we go back and then we have the next step. I'm sure you have already created your uh, number ranges and you know how to do it. And then we have the next step, which is define grouping and assign to number ranges. So basically, I want to create uh, one group. I'm going to add an entry. I'm going to call it D99. And then the short name should be also D99. And then the description is vendors for all. Okay, the number range that I'm going to choose for this Vendors, as we said, this is zero two, zero two. Okay. Then I'm going to choose <coughs> the night short name, the night and then we are going to call it customers for all. And then I'm going to choose, as I said, the EE. Okay not ticked because it's not external. So please bear in mind one thing. I'm just creating here a sort of crazy things uh, than uh, on the video, but you need, you need to plan the groupings for your business partners, either for customers, either for vendors before you're doing this. Now I'm going to save and then we save. What we did, I create two groupings to be used in the number in the business partners, one for vendors, another for customers, because as we said, the number ranges are defined in the business partner areas and not anymore in customers and 
vendors. Now you know how to create business partners number ranges and grouping in SAP S4 HANA. Thanks for watching this video as part of the full life cycle implementation series that we are doing here in this channel, SAP at a glance. Please subscribe this channel to get fresh new videos on a weekly basis. I see you in the next video.